Hi, I got this uh, solar installation from Banggood for free and uh, it consists of three parts. This is the main control unit, a soldering iron and a hot air gun. And it also comes with this adapter plug and an instruction manual. It's uh, both in Chinese and uh, in English. So let's have a look at the soldering iron first. It uh, comes with this uh, very fine soldering tip and uh, uh, that's the only tip that comes with this. So how does this soldering station work then? I think we start with uh, this uh, soldering iron and how we control it with this control unit. First off, uh, if I want to use the soldering iron, I have to turn it on. And there you have a temperature. If you want to like, if you would like to change the temp, you press this star button, and this flashes, and you can lower the temp or get it higher to your desire. When you're satisfied, you push the star button again, like so, and then. Another push on the star button, you get in this, uh, it's called sleep mode, like this, O1, S01, that means that when the soldering iron is in this stand, after one minute it goes to sleep mode and the temperature drops to 200 degrees, and when you take it out of the stand, the temperature rises to the adjusted temp and if you don't want to have any sleep mood you push this down no it's zero it's zero then it never goes into sleep mode it holds the the adjusted temperature all the time but i like to have it in sleep mood one minute perhaps or more up to one 99 minutes you can choose before it goes to sleep mode and now I set it to one minute uh, let's uh, wait a minute and see what happens and there you see now it's in sleep mode and when I pick up the soldering iron it starts to raise the temperature. Let's do that. And it's up to 370 again. That's the function of the soldering iron. So let's shut it off. We press a long press on this on off. And it's off. Okay, let's talk about this hot air gun then. It comes with uh, three nozzles, as you can see here, and uh, this stand. I put a piece of iron on it because this is so light. It makes it a bit bit heavier okay and how we turn it on then well we push this on off rework and then and now we want to um, set the temperature you want to lower it or you want to get it a bit higher like so and this is the fan speed you got 10 different speeds lower 
Are you? Okay. And then we got an A, which stands for automatic mode. When you put the hot air gun in the stand, it uh, shuts off automatically. I'll show it in a while. And uh, okay, let's put pull this up. The temperature rises. The fan is blowing. And I push this start button, and the temperature flashes. Rise or low. I push the star button again, and then we have the fan speed. This is the highest, and then we can go down to one, two, three, four, five, and then we put it in the stand, and then as you can hear. The fan speed goes up and the temperature drops and with, when it reaches uh, 100 degrees the hot air gun shuts off. Counting down. Okay, very soon now, it will shut itself off, and there it goes off. There is also a manual mode, and then it never shuts itself off. You choose, you choose uh, what you want to use in this. Okay, and if I want to turn it off completely, this unit, I press down this, like so. And now we, everything is shut it off. Another thing I want to say is that these uh, cables are pretty soft, and that's good. Very soft, like this. That's a nice feature. And uh, here's the back of the uh, this control unit and the connection looks like this like so okay another thing about this stand for the hot air gun it like this that there's magnet inside here and on this side too so obviously there is a magnetic magnetic switch inside this that uh, make it to turn off Another thing about this soldering iron is that the soldering tip is very thin and uh, I think it you can buy other tips on the internet but I haven't checked it up yet but I have made a new tip myself and it looks like this and I made this out of brass. I don't know how long it will hold up, but uh, I think it will work for a while anyway. Okay, let's do some soldering then. We try the soldering iron with this fine tip. I think I raised the temp a bit.
that was with a fine tip. I will now uh, try my homemade soldering tip. Okay, we test my homemade soldering tip then. Let's see how it goes. Much better, I think. This one here wasn't pretty good. There. Okay. Let's have a bit, little closer look, if we can. I think I prefer my homemade soldering tip. Okay, let's test the hot air gun then. And uh, try to desolder the ship. I think we will put some flux on here. Like so. I think I have a uh, Never used a uh, hot air gun to desolder something, so we'll see how it works. I don't know. I have uh, the temperature to arise it a bit, I think. I don't know. Three hundred, three hundred and eighty degrees, ninety, and uh, three hundred and eighty degrees, and the fan speed is five. There, it worked. Let's try this bigger ship. We put flux, 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 flux. Okay, let's see if we can desolder this bigger ship.
And there we go. Very nice. So, what is my conclusion about this soldering station then? My pros and cons. Well, I only got one negative thing to say, and that is that uh, the very small soldering tip that comes with this soldering station doesn't suit me, but perhaps someone else. My homemade soldering tip worked a lot better, I think. Other than that, I think this is a, a good uh, soldering station. It only costs about, about 50 bucks and uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. So anyway, that was all I had for you today. See you in the next one. Bye bye.